fam. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, so I'm doing, uh, we have, have reached 60,000 subscribers and so for the first time ever, I'm gonna be doing a live Q&A as well as uh, an unboxing. I've got my kids with me, they're gonna help me a little bit. And over the course of this um, short stream, I'm going to be unboxing eight puzzles live and really quickly telling you uh, what we think about them. As you can see over here, ta-da! What are you doing, Ting Boy? I think he's trying to solve the cube. <laughs> he's trying to show off some like sweet new like tricks that he's <laughs> recently learned as well as answer a bunch of questions. I did actually receive over um, 600 questions since <laughs> announcing this yesterday. Um, so I went through all of them and, and had to pick 30 um, so that it wouldn't take forever. Um, so thank you so much for your questions. Obviously, won't be able to answer everything, but I tried to pick the ones that I think represent like you know repeated questions and things that you guys would would enjoy. So yeah, let's actually start with a little unboxing, shall we? So let's start with um, these new Maylong puzzles. And so people were really excited about these puzzles because these are like the Maylongs have been around for a while, but these were these are the first time that they've been magnetized. Yes, let's get you in there. All off. <laughs> Ta -da. Now he's doing okay, the bowl let's cube. open them. Would you like to open the two oh, wow, and no, I'll open the three? <laughs> what are you doing, Ting Boy? <laughs> he asked if he could be in the video and now he's just like non-stop trying to like um, <laughs> bring cubes to the camera. I probably should have brought a little like um, cutter tool or something. Hey, oh well, that's okay. These things. I know Come where on. a really, really new <laughs> what are you tool doing? is. Come around this side so, so they can, can see you. Can I get a really, really cool nearby scissors for me? Sure. I am... Okay, very excited about these. Opening these for the first time myself. So I haven't tried these out. So this is the Maylong uh, 3M. The new Maylong uh, mechanic Found cube. Scissors. Ooh, that's nice. I the find fridge. a lot of these yeah. new cubes actually have a very similar feel. This reminds me a lot of the, um, the new Gan uh, Monster Go cubes. I should say Gan. I'm changing. I'm starting to say Gan. But yeah, that's actually really, really nice. Uh, and let's let's open the 4x4 four four since we can. Yeah. No, that's mine. Would you like to guess how Ola is going with the 2x2? Two two? Do you think she's finding it easy? <laughs> Does she ever find unboxings easy? Ever? Yes. Remember the time in that Pyraminx review where I said, Wow, really easy in unboxing. And you were like, that's a first. Oh, it's a bit stiff. That could do with a bit of loosening. I say this a lot for, I, I feel like I say this every time I review like a budget magnetic cube, but it's incredible. It is amazing that they're actually able to produce such like quality stuff given its price. I sometimes wonder like who's getting ripped off, you know, like who is being underpaid to like produce these things. Um, I really hope no one is, cubing companies, make sure that you're paying everyone appropriate wages. But otherwise, yeah, this is incredible stuff. Is this stuff. a box in a box? Yes, it's a box in a box. Let's let's turn over to Ola, who's in Struggle Street right now. No, I'm I've not. I've unboxed two cubes, and she's only done one, as usual. I haven't even done one. And it's look, she's like destroyed this box. Just rip it open like a like a birthday present. <laughs> what? What's happening? No, rip. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. That is what happens. Good. It's no. not a box in a box. Hey, there we go. First tennis, how do you find it? Amazing, it's sandy, pretty cool, hey? slippery. Amazing, sandy, slippery. There you go. That is no, it's super sandy, slippery. That's your entire review right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you appreciate uh, Ting Boy up on, on the lamp? That was years ago. That might have been we us sort of playing around. Hey, why don't you come around here if you want to be in it? <laughs> Let's do a couple of solves on the three and the two. Just do like hand scrambles and stuff. Oh, true. Ola injured her um, wrist, unfortunately. So, as you can see, so solving might be a little bit tricky today. But do you want just want to like do your best? Can you actually still solve? Sort of. Well, it's alright. Just for the feel. It it probably won't be a good time, but just just do it for the feel. Do it for the feel. Yeah. All right. Ten seconds. 
Considering you're injured, that's pretty good. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna say that as far as budget cubes go, yeah, get it. <laughs> there you go, that's my professional opinion. I mean, it's it's wonderful. It's really, really great. I, I nearly forgot that it was like a budget cube while I was doing it. It was really, really cool. All right. Oh, I'm gonna shout out like people for two seconds. Hello, Geza, LR Cuba, WR Cuba, God of Nutella, what? Um, Chicago Cuba, a little frog with a million exclamation marks. Not a million. That's all you're getting. Okay, it's time to answer some questions, ladies and gents. Here we go. Yay, questions. I'm gonna do them like maybe, like I'll do a, maybe a five or 10 questions and then we'll get back into like some um, unboxing some cubes and stuff. I've also got the RS3M here, which I'm very excited about, but here we go. Thank you again so much for your questions. So here's the first one. Um, where does the name Tingman come from? So this was um, a um, nickname that uh, my wife gave me and I just decided to use it for my channel because why not? I think it used to have my real name like years ago. Oh no, no, like a, a, ver a variation. But it's good to keep your uh, details fairly anonymous online. Pro tip for you uh, younger people out there. It's a very good idea not to give too much of your personal details out online because yeah, don't. Well, there is my nickname. Yeah, then obviously that's not Ola's was, like, real name. I a really young toddler. Yeah, I think it's a lot safer, especially for like if you're if you're younger, to just use nicknames. Dad also the the me world buddy. doesn't need to know like you know private information mm. about you. Next question. I'm hoping to go to my first competition soon. Have you Ish. got any tips? Soon? Have you got any tips for me? Uh, yes, I do. That's amazing that you're going to a comp since I don't even know that many comps are being organized right now in coronavirus mm. time. Okay, mm. and my tips are don't have such high expectations and expect to be like smashing PBs and everything the first time you go. Just have fun, just take in like the environment and yeah, just enjoy it. Like don't don't pin your enjoyment to the times you get. Just enjoy the fact that you're there at, at a competition. It's really cool. Next question is, what is Ola's hobby when she is not speed cubing? I think we've had a question like that before. <laughs> what sorts of things do you like to do? Writing, drawing, cats. Yes, she likes writing, drawing, and cats. Although she also writes and draws cats. About cats. About cats. Yes, she sure does. Next, uh, can Team Boy solve a Rubik's Cube yet? If not, you should do a video teaching Team Boy. A lot of people ask about this. Uh, I have tried, so as you might have seen in a previous video, he can do a soon, he can do like a few random moves that I've taught him, but he's still finding some concepts a bit hard, like, you know, making the cross how you would, you know, like the really intuitive steps, that's still a little bit tricky. So I'm still trying like every few weeks, but I reckon it might still take a few more months before he's a bit older and able to sort of sort of do that. But we're trying. We definitely are. Uh, next, what do you think makes you stand out from other you um, cubers from Cubing Encoded? Um, for starters, I think I'm one of the few um, uh, like Cubing YouTube um, channels that is very family oriented. You know, because I do a lot of uh, videos with my daughter, obviously, who cubes with me, and hopefully more. You know, with Team Boy as well. And so I think already that. <laughs> okay <laughs> and um and so i think like naturally we already have this like family relational part uh, side to my channel which um like i really en enjoy so i like that my channel is about fun and relationships and about like social like like doing stuff with other people about just challenges and not necessarily about like being the most amazing like speed cuber ever but just enjoying the hobby with people um, yeah, wholesome cubing, you know, that's what I, I often say that my channel yes. is about. It's, it's the sort of videos that I enjoy watching the most. Like we enjoy wholesome videos. We enjoy a lot of like yeah. Zach King's magic. Um, he, his stuff is like fun and wholesome and just like, you know, you can watch it with people of any age. And so, yeah, that's the sort of videos that, that, um, we like to make as well. And that I hope my channel can be known for. What are you doing, Ting Boy? <laughs> Okay, how do you come up with video ideas? My problem is actually having too many ideas. I'm not sure why. I have like, uh, you know, in, in notes, like on my phone, whenever I have a random idea, like during the day, I'll just like, you know, write it down. So I guess that's one system, but inspiration comes from anywhere, you know, like not just from the cubing world. I think that if, 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 if all you do is cubing all the time and you only ever watch cubing videos, I think that actually really limits you. But if you broaden yourself and like, you know, I watch a lot of stuff, to do with um, music or, and filmmaking, because I enjoy that. 
and just, I don't know, going out and doing different things, you just end up getting like ideas and, and stuff. Oh, thanks, Geza, for the super chat. Appreciate that. Zach King is amazing. Uh, next question. Who do you think will break the 3x3 three three world record when comps are back on average and single, respectively? Oh, man. Um, all of the, like, you know, like, um, uh, the, the monkey league that's going on right now. Like, people are getting incredible times there. Um, you know, Luke, uh, Lucas, Edda, Timon, uh, who else has been on? Maddie, um, mind blanks, Leo. Yeah, like, 100%, um, you know, everyone's like, they're going to break records. They're already, like, breaking world record averages and singles right there. Um, but I do think that being in a comp is a very different environment, you know, like, it's quite easy for us to get good times at home, but in like a high pressure pressure situation, it's really quite difficult. So I think that's why, like, you know, just because, you know, when comps are back, it doesn't automatically mean they're all going to get like threes and fours back in comp. I think that there's still the challenge and pressure of people just watching you, cameras being on you and just knowing like, this is it. I only have these five souls. So yeah, who knows? But yeah i reckon i reckon something will get broken like the world record um average i reckon for three by three will get broken by like this time next year i'm calling it now uh next what what do Allah's friends think of her cubing oh good question uh i don't know if your friends think much of your cubing do they yeah the thing is that cubing isn't the only thing that we do yeah like Allah does other things as well right yeah and so i mean Small. <laughs> Cat small, <laughs> says Tingwar. I would say, pro tip, don't let cubing be the only thing that defines you. Like, you know, it can definitely be like a big love and hobby, but it probably shouldn't be like the one thing that defines you. Otherwise, I don't know. Humans are complex. You need to have different parts of your characteristic. Don't put your eggs in one basket. Otherwise, if something happens, you will end up just, you know, being really sad. Anyway. Uh, let's do two more questions and then we'll get into more cubes. What do you enjoy most about the community? What would you like to see change? That's from Speed Cube Review. Thank you for that question. Uh, my favorite thing about the cubing community has to be the fact that we, uh, we all celebrate each other's successes. I love the fact that, you know, the upcoming Netflix film um, um, that's going to be on Felix and Max. I think the trailer has already captured it so well that it's like Max and Felix are rivals and yet friends. Like, 100%, if one of them broke the world record, the other one would celebrate it. They would be so happy. Like, Felix would rejoice if Max broke a record. Max would rejoice if Felix broke a record. And, like, how good is that? You know, in a lot of other sports, I think, like, I don't know, football teams or something. If when one football team wins... You don't really see the other football team, like the losing one, being like, yes, well done. That's so good. Right. Like, you know, like, that, but that's what we get with cubing. Like everyone celebrates when anyone wins, even though obviously there is rivalry and we compete. It's like, it's so good. Um, but what would I like to see changed? I would like to see change. I guess any attitude that isn't that, like people who are too much in it for themselves and are just like, hey, did you see my last time? I'm better than you. And it's like, we're not comparing, you know, we're not trying to yeah <laughs> so yeah you know that sort of like individual like i'm the best mentality i would like to see less of that i want to see more of like just celebrating each other's wins and final question before we take a break uh what is the nicest thing anyone has ever done to you oh i need to think about this one i'm gonna come back to this okay <laughs> let's do more let's do more um cubes i've already unboxed the four so let's unbox the five how do you actually feel about doing a four are your hands okay? Like, do you reckon that you can do do a four by four? Maybe. It did, but it hurt it all the time when I was doing the two. Oh, it did hurt. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't do it then. I reckon maybe I don't know. Why don't you help me open more cubes then? Do you want to do that? I got my scissors ready. <laughs> What do you want to open? So I have a couple of Shengshou puzzles here as well. Uh, Mr. M. I don't actually know what the deal is with the little Mr. M, like Monica, the name. But anyway, that's the Mr. M pyramids. So let's do the... Uh, I'll, I'll do a 4x4. Four four. Let's just do a hand scramble. A little bit stiff. I would definitely want to like lube and loosen this a little bit if I was doing this like properly. But just for a video, let's just do it. Uh, I'm not warmed up at all. But do you mind if I grab the timer? Uh, fine. Okay, let's do a 4x4 four four solve. Can you see Ola? That's Ola. Do you want to like move in here a little bit? Um, so they can see you. 
You can talk a little bit if you want while I am while I am doing this. Okay. But not, not too much random stuff. Okay. Does anyone know what this thing is meant to be? It's like a chip stuff. What is that? A chip. Oh yeah, what is that? Like a um, U4. Isn't it good when you do a U4? You know that you're winning in life when you do a U4. No, all L parody! No. Got an anti soon though. And a Z perm. Ugh. Yeah. Ooh, so close to my sub one. Hey, that was nice. It's Same thing. I to solve it because my sprain was. Yeah. So I had to use this hand. Same thing. I actually forgot at, during some moments that I was doing like a budget cube. So that was like, you know, that's super cool. Uh, I guess for those of you who are wondering whether this is worth buying. Yeah. I actually really like collecting sets of things. I don't know why. So I don't know. I might be interested in the set. I will actually say get the whole thing. Get like two, three, four, five. It's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, so these are the Maylong, the new Maylong uh, magnetic puzzles, more new Maylong magnetic puzzles. Pyramids. Oops. Do you, want, do you want to try doing a pyramid solve? I can try doing this. Okay. Oh, these Shangshao cubes, they always have that like, um, that texture, hey. It reminds me of the, the, gem? the gem, yeah. It's got this like, interesting texture on it, I'm not sure if you can see it. The gem, when I did this budget review. Yeah, anyway. Well, you can do some slow solves if you want. <laughs> Time a slow solve, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know what's with a random, like, triangle. Maybe just, like, for the pyraminx How thing. do you solve a pyraminx? Uh... Oh, that's where the triangle came from! Oh, it came from the box! <laughs> I think I Look. see it. Hello. <laughs> Oops, there you go. Okay, let's do that. Can we see? Oh, well. Let's answer some more questions. Um, the like nicest the thing anyone has ever done is when Jesus died for me. It definitely is that. What is the meaning of life? That is related to that one. So I am obviously a Christian. I don't keep that a secret. Uh, and the meaning of life definitely to me is knowing what you were made for. Nice. Is knowing, knowing why your creator made you and living out that purpose. And so we believe in a loving creator, uh, in a God who loved us and gave his life for us. And so knowing that God and doing what the God wants, uh, like being in relationship with the God is like the best thing you can possibly do. And part of that in includes like loving others and being, you know, like a light, uh, being, you know, uh, especially in, 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 in a world of darkness, being a light, being someone who points to hope and to goodness and truth. And so to me, that's the meaning of life. It's about enjoying the relationship with your creator and about like being, um, yeah, a reflection of his light into the world. <laughs> Would you rather be chased by an army of duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Deep questions, my friends. Um, what, what the, what are you showing everyone? You just looked at it. I love cubing. Oh, did you add that yourself? Oh, Ting Boy just drew this. I'm guessing that's a cube and love hearts all around. And it says, I love cubing. And it's like C-U-B-E-I-N-G. That is super, super oh. cute. Why are you so cute? Oh, and love hearts around. And love no. hearts around there. Yes, thank you. You are super cute. Uh, definitely the horse sized duck. I mean, like an army, an army of duck sized horses, like that would totally kill me. But one horse sized duck, I could probably find a way to take that one thing down. Where do you live? Wouldn't you like to know? A lot of questions are super personal. This is related to my very first one where I was giving you advice and saying that you probably shouldn't um, give away information about yourself because yeah, it's the internet, my friends. Stay safe on, on the internet. Um, 
So yeah, I will 100% never answer questions that are like personal ones like this. I get a lot of them, you know. How old are you? Where do you live? What Like all these personal things. Don't answer these questions, guys. Mm. Next, if you weren't a cubing channel, what other channel would you be? Um, probably, I'll do what I was already doing on YouTube, which is that I was making, like, we were, I was saying to make a lot of family videos um, and then um, piano stuff, probably piano tutorials. I've always wanted to make piano tutorials. Um, yeah, stuff like that. What motivates you to make people happy and spread joy? From Daily Puzzles, um, my faith. So saying this before, it's definitely in the faith that I have in Jesus. The fact that I know that there is real reason for hope. I have a real reason to believe in people, not just because, yeah. I'm trying to think of what my reason for hope would really be like, if not for God. It would probably just be, you know, just and optimism maybe that things will get better but with god i actually know that everyone is precious everyone is valuable there's no one who's not worthy of good uh you know goodness and of care and you know wanting to put a smile on their face so that's what that's probably it yeah i believe that everyone is um precious and and everyone has value no matter what uh what's your favorite video that you have ever made my favorite video hey do you want to come uh bring this girl on here my favorite video I don't think I have got any one it's any video I've ever made with my family I've been thinking recently that in 5 years 10 years 20 years you will probably forget who I am um, because you know that's life you just move on but my family will never forget me you know like I'll never forget them and so the stuff that really matters is yeah family and so any video I've made in which my family has appeared has been like to me it's I think something I'll tre treasure forever in five or ten years time in 50 years time if I'm still alive I'll be happy to still look back on those videos I've done with my family yes Ting Boy has got little Lego eyeballs and is trying to I don't know what he's doing and I'm trying to solve the square one yes I'm gonna come around to the I other side so we can see you what happened to your square one journey? Wow! Hey, the coincidence! It's almost like we knew. I actually didn't know that that was the next question. Uh, the short answer is that it took a very long hiatus after I made that square one video because I just had so many other things that I was trying to learn to solve. I was trying to learn like 4x4 blind um, and I've now put pause on that and I just got back into square one again. So that's because... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. why. Why did I get back in square one again? Some reason. Some reason, says Olo. Uh, and I also just got like a coaching session with Derpy Cuba, who is, you know, a world record holder for um, square one. And that was amazing. Like, if you can't afford the coaching services, they're, they're really quite great. And a really nice way of supporting these guys as well. Um, so yeah, the short answer is I'm just getting right back into square one again. I'm averaging about a uh, low one minute at the moment and hoping to get... Um, Maybe, I don't know, around an average of 40 seconds. That'll be really nice in maybe a, a few weeks' time. How did you um, approach improving your F12 when you started? A lot of people ask about that. Would you like me to make a video on this? Um, you, so you may know already, I've got a video on how I learned P full PLL and how I learned full um, OLL. Uh, I'm not an expert by any um, stretch of the imagination, but I wanted to just share what my experience was like, like learning full OL, learning full PL, or just how I did it. So not like this is the correct way to do it, but just this is how I did it. And I've been thinking a lot about how I learned um, F2L. The short answer is you get worse before you get better. That's the spoiler. I've now given away probably that entire video, but that's probably the spoiler. Be willing to get worse before you get better. Like don't rush and be like, this is useless. I need to stop learning F12. No, 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 no. You're going to slow down before you speed up and that's fine. Next, how do you manage being a YouTuber, a dad and and working? And that is a very good question. A lot of people are asking me this. Uh, I probably could do it better. I could probably get more sleep and manage it better that way. But um, there's just a lot of planning. So for example, I have already planned all my videos for August, pretty much. Like I'm still flexible, so I still might change videos as I go along. But otherwise, yeah, I have already like planned what videos I'm going to make. 
I've already made some of them and they're just waiting to be released. And that's because, yeah, that's how I manage. When, when I've got more time, I'll just make a bunch of videos and slowly like release them and then make sure that I'm still giving 100% of, my, of myself into my work, into my family, into church and everything. Uh, yeah, that's how you manage life. Don't let any one thing like become too big. Code Olo or Code Tingman? Ugh, that is a really pointless question to ask because the answer is Code Tingman. 100%. It's Code Tingman. It's Code Tingman. It's Code You know, it's actually Code Ting Boy. There's no Code Ting Boy. <laughs> anyway, it's Code uh, Tingman all the way. I can't believe that Billy from Daily Puzzles actually made a Code Olo. And, and he posted on Instagram that someone, I think for fun, made a $500 million order and used code OLO and got like $50 million off. It's not a real order, but it's like, there you go. That's the power of discount codes. Mm. Anyway. Okay, 10 more questions. Let's take a break again and let's get into more cubes. Okay, let's open these two. Uh, so this is the RS... 3M, so excited about this. Let's do this one first though. This is the Shang Show Mr. M, which I honestly haven't heard uh, a lot about. Hey, it's my one. Ta-da, Mr. M. Hey, thank you for the um, super chat. Explosive cubing. <laughs> and let's have a go. This is really interesting that for the, I expected it to have like the Shang Show sort of, you know, weird feeling o over there. But it's got this. If you've just joined us, thank you for um, coming in. I'm just okay. unboxing a bunch of cubes, as you can see, and answering a bunch of your questions. But I received over 600 questions, so I just picked 30. If you're wondering where the questions, how to submit questions, um, you've missed the boat. Sorry. <laughs> also, as far, from what I've heard, um, the Shang Show Mr. M was only released in Stickered, which is very weird because this is like their flagship puzzle. So to not have not give the option of stickerless is very unusual. This is nice though. Okay. Hey, that's nice. Oh, he, he drew a square one. Well, the worst square one. The worst square one. Yeah, that's great. You mean the word square one. Oh, sorry, the word square one, not the worst. It's not the worst. It's a really, really amazing square one. Wow. I did hear a few people say the Mr. M isn't that amazing, but I'm actually finding it really good. You know, a lot of other cubing YouTubers are starting to say that too. They're making so many cubes now that it's actually really hard to differentiate between them. It's sort of like if one of them is like, it's not like, you know, 4 out of 10 and 6 out of 10. It's like one of it is like 70 out of 100 and the other one is 71 out of 100. And it's like, which one do you get? I don't know. They're like exactly the same. Hey. Sorry. I'm just gonna solve this Shang Show Mr. M. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm also still not warmed up, but let's just give it a go. I also do not know what to do if you get a muffin and a pipe. Oh my goodness. One of the hardest things about um can't talk. One of the hardest things. I can't talk. Is that that mm. it is a big paper? Eh, 16. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Ta-da! 16. One of the hardest things about square one is cube shape. It's just getting into the original. Sorry. This is nice! Yeah, a couple of people I heard had, didn't have good things to say about this. But yeah, I, I think like it's, it, I think it's I don't totally like it fine. Name. I actually think it's really totally fine. I'm not really convinced by the Mr. M thing. It just feels like a bit of a funny like sticker to have on your, on your cube. But, you know, whatever. I don't generally have a lot of stickers on my cubes anyway. I like my cubes to be, um, I mean, I generally use stickerless cubes for starters, but also not having a logo means that you can use it for blind. And I do like solving cubes blind. Should I do another solve? I don't think I'm gonna get any better than um, 16 though, cause I'm just really totally not, not, not warmed up. Also, I'm just using hand scrambles. Sorry about that guys. And firm. Another help. 16. That's a little help. Eight in a row. Why are you being so cute? Oh, if you've got in a row, yeah, just do that. And then when you have scallop, oh, yeah. scallop, you just do that. And then you get barrel, barrel. Yeah. I know this one. 
There you go. Nice. And the one that we've all been waiting for, my friends. The RS3M. I have really been very excited about this cube as well. You want to unbox it? Okay. While Olo does that, I'm going to unbox the Usain Little Magic 6x6. Because it will not take me any longer than five minutes. Well, until one this feels just like a Usain Little Magic. Surprise, surprise. Did you expect it to feel like anything else? It feels exactly like a Usain Little Magic, um, which I think I've mentioned in another video. They're, they're incredibly consistent. Like the Usain Little Magic, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, all have the exact same feel to it. There's something about this, like, a little bit slippery plastic feeling to it. Um, yeah. Magnetic is, magnetic is very nice, though. Yeah. It's it's nice if I guess if it's all that you can afford um, or you know what's available in your um, country then yep definitely go for it it's much better than the non magnetic um, six by six but otherwise the MGC six is still definitely my choice I love the MGC six what did you do no you you broke the box as well why oh, why why do you break the box whatever just destroy it like a birthday present again no. No, you're trying to do it the right way. You're gonna cut your fingers. Guys, be very careful when you use scissors. Be very careful. Because you never cut your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Twisty Puzzle sent a super chat. Thank you so much, Twisty Puzzle. Appreciate that. <laughs> and that, like, partying guy. Take it out, take it out. Everyone's so excited about an RS3M. By everyone, I really just mean me. Ooh. What else is in it? Cut the cube. There's so many of these now. I'm cutting the cube. Can you tell Sorry. me in the chat what you do with your um, cube stands? Because I, I don't use them. I don't use cube stands. Like I just put all my cubes in like a thing, you know, in like a drawer or something, you know, like or a box. Like I have got so many of these. I don't know what to do with them. I've been considering like making art, art like. Making some sort of like geometric shape. What do you guys do with your cube stands? Someone says, I just collect it. Don't use them. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of plastic. Think of the sea turtles, cubing companies. I think there are people who really, really want them. But like, yeah, I don't know. They're just like, it's just plastic. Decorate them. Throw them around. Have them on my shelf. Recycle, people say. What? I throw them. Think boy, you are strange. Recycle, yeah, I guess sell them. Yep, because I'm sure I'm sure all these people are gonna want to sell them. Daily Puzzle says that the um, RS3 um, uh, M is really good. Three turns on the tension system, and add a bit of silk or, or silicon to the core, and then it's really great, yeah. Oh, hey, you've opened it. How do you find it? How do you find it? Awesome. Really? Do you like it? Can I have a feel? It feels so much like um, this. It's got a bit more of a weight to it. And it feels awesome. That is actually really nice. A bit slippery. Uh, why why can't I feel the difference between stuff anymore? It actually feels so similar to the Mainlong M. And also very similar to the new Monster Go. Do you guys have the Monster Go like Magne Magnetic 3x3 around? I think Ting Boy was using it before. Uh oh. I don't even know which one is which now. Because they both have the same thing. Wait, wait. Oh, it's this one. This is slightly heavier. So this is the new Monster Go Magnetic. Ah, it's wonderful. They are so, they are actually so good. That one's nicer. Yeah. That one's like the um, RS3M is definitely nicer. It's got a more consistent feel to it. Yeah. Ching Boy, what are you doing? Look, look, look at what has happened. Life with kids, my friends. Life with kids. Let's get back to the questions. Oh, life with kids is pretty great, isn't it? Let's get back to the questions. So yeah, code ting man for sure. Don't use code Ola. It's the worst choice you will make in your entire life. Code Ola. Code Ola. Code Ola. How did? Code Ola. Code Ola. Oh, it's mutiny. Um, how did you choose to start cubing? When and why? I get this question so often, and I have made a whole video on it. It's called. One year of speed cubing, I think, yeah. I think, I, I searched the other day, if you just like search speed cubing in uh, YouTube, it's it's like on the first page of results, which is really cool. 
Uh, yeah, so I've made a whole video on, on it is the answer. Can you do a 4x4 OH? I actually did last year for fun. I did a 4x4 one-handed and a 5x5 one-handed for no reason. And it was okay. Just the parodies were very hard to do like one-handed because, you know, they're muscle memory and stuff. But yeah, Nothing. it was not fun. Okay. Any tips on starting a YouTube channel? I get this question so much as well. It's almost as if um, people think that people like people who've got good channels have the secret. And the short answer is that there's no secret. Part of it is luck. Like a little part of it is luck of like being at the right time at the right place and then just your channel taking off because you've made the right video. But a lot of it is disappointment and hard work. <laughs> You are welcome. A lot of it is just making the majority of like successful cubing channels. If you dig back in the history of videos, they have made hundreds of videos that are not great. Um, sorry, I should maybe just speak for myself. But you know, like they've made a lot of videos that were just simple and that were like them just learning. You know, a lot of it is just learning. And so, like. Yeah, you know, I wasn't born making videos the way that I do now. I wasn't born with the equipment that I had. It came through years and years of just practice, of making videos that didn't work, of like, every time I made a video, I learned one new thing, and then I learned another new thing and another new thing, and now I just have a lot of skills and then experience, and because I've now had, you know, I've done even filming work and earned a bit of money, I can like, yeah, like buy an upgrade and get new things. So I guess the short answer is hard work, be prepared to be disappointed don't expect the big numbers but just yeah learn um yeah would you would you want a video on this as well like tips with starting a, a youtube channel because i do have a lot of thoughts about that as well a lot of people said below that they really really wanted a video on like f2 so i'm gonna have to add that to my list but obviously that's not gonna come out soon because as you know my videos are all laid out until the end of august so yeah just reading some uh, comments. Yeah, people seem a bit positive about that, so sure. Uh, a few more questions. Would you rather have, wait, a live-in massage therapist or a live-in chef? Ugh, what kind of question is that? Chef, 100%. My wife might choose the first, but I would choose chef, like 100% chef. Is mom around? Do you want to ask? Uh, what is she doing? Do you want to ask mom this question? Do you remember the question? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, my prediction is that she's gonna pick pick the first one. What tripod do you use for the overhead cam? I used to ask ask myself this question all the time. Like, how do people record such nice like overhead solves? So there are two ways that I do it. Have you got the answer? It was chef. Oh, she chose chef as well. Yeah, actually, that makes, makes sense. Because the time that you would save with food. Although live-in is weird, like I don't want someone else living with my family who's just providing massage services, like it's really weird. Mighty Eagles 73 thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Code Ting Boy, really? People are asking for a Code Ting Boy. This is ridiculous, you can't just make codes on like everyone in my family. I don't know about Code Ting Boy. Code Ting Boy. Anyway, okay, go back to playing the piano. Um, my, my thoughts about this is, oh yeah, so I use two things. One, I use a, a microphone, uh, like stand, a microphone boom arm that I've just repurposed. So I removed like the, the part that holds the microphone and I put a sm very small tripod head that just holds, holds the camera. It's not a super strong, so it's a bit scary to put a heavy camera up there, but often I just put my phone. Uh, and the second thing is I recently got, <laughs> I recently got this. So this is the KF Concept ah, tripod and it's the only one of its kind that does this. You ready? Watch. Ta-da! Uh, not the only one, there's only a few, but like it's amazing. And so this lets me do most of... What? They've become zombies. This is one of the only um, yeah tripods that does this and I now use this for all my like table stuff. Like I'll just put my phone here and then I can like really easily adjust it and still have like my hands free and everything. So yeah, that's the other tripod um, that I now use. Uh, there's only five more questions. Would, would, I can't read upside down. Oh, would Lightning McQueen. Buy car insurance or life insurance? 
<laughs> Lightning McQueen would buy life insurance. You buy car insurance for the a car that you own, but you buy life insurance for yourself. So if Lightning McQueen had a car, then he, then he would buy car insurance for the car. But if it's for himself, it's life insurance. How can a car own a car? It's a weird question, but I mean, Hello Kitty has a cat, so clearly it's possible. Hello Kitty, not Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, sorry. <laughs> hey, can you turn the volume down a teeny bit, please? Uh, we're nearly at the end. What is your favorite genre of music? Uh, it would probably have to be jazz music. Piano jazz, love piano jazz. Thinking of making a, a video. You know how I've done like one hour of, of piano music? Thinking of doing one hour of jazz piano. Would, would you enjoy that? L let me know in the comments if, if you would yes, enjoy yes, that. Yes, yes, Just for fun. Um, and movie soundtracks is probably my other one. Also musicals. I would actually really, I really like music, music from, from musicals. Uh, yes, people saying yes to the jazz music. So yeah, I might do that. How do you see the future of cubing and what do you want it to be? From cube head, wow. The future of cubing, I think that cubing is growing at an exponential rate. More and more people are getting into it. It's becoming more accessible and cheaper to get in. You know, like a lot of these great puzzles are becoming cheaper and cheaper. Let's zoom back so you can see the chaos that's going on here. Um, and so with that in mind, I think that yeah, it's very exciting. I think this it's gonna really expand and explode. I think that it's gonna make competitions a bit harder because more and more people want to go to competitions. And so comp organizers and delegates, I think need to think a little bit different, maybe differently about like, how can you accommodate? Because it's just a bit hard when you go to a comp and there's like two or 300 people because you spend a lot of the day waiting around. Logistically, it's very hard to organize. It just gets a bit messy. To me, it's the sweet spot is like, hundred maybe less than a hundred for per competition sorry big comps are really great but yeah um you know uh, it's just a bit more peaceful and a bit more easy to and appreciate the day with smaller comps and so i think that will be a logistical problem as more and more people get into it uh but yeah i think that as a community grows it just means that more people will get to enjoy it that's more of an audience like if you want to start a a, a youtube channel on cubing now is the best time because everyone is um watching stuff and so like yeah it's very exciting uh and what do you want it to be i want yeah i i, I still just want the positive positivity to continue i want people to celebrate each other's successes um i love seeing collaborations and people working together it's so great why are you saying brains are you zombies this is pop Okay. Papa's in other cubing videos. Um, Papa is a cuba. Because, you know, power to the people. Yeah. You know, it's not all about just the amazing speed cubers. I'm not a big fan of the whole, like, making amazing uh, cubers too much of, like, a celebrity and, like, worshipping them and, like, wow. You know, it ends up with, like, you know, in comps, the a lot of the well-known speed cubers get so overwhelmed with, like, people trying to, like, talk to them and take photos of them and stuff. And, you know, the, mostly very happy to do it. But it's, like... On behalf of, you know, I don't know. So Felix, for example, whenever I go to a comp with him, like, you know, he he's there to compete. He wants to like do his best, and so we we just wanna, um, yeah. I think if less of a celebrity celebrity sort of like culture around like the big speed cubers, respect them as people who are good role models, but not just like, wow, you're an idol. I wanna like touch your shirt. Sorry, weird example. Uh, Ting boy is playing the piano for someone who asked. Uh, we're nearly done. Two more questions. Will you please say three nice things about TNL cubing? Yeah, I will. Three nice things about TNL cubing. And the final question is: What is your inspiration to continue cubing and making videos? Oh, um, I have quite a few. My my daughter probably is one. I love making videos with her, and so. She's a big inspiration, just want to keep on cubing with her. Hey! Uh, you, you, like everyone I've ever done cubing with is like an inspiration. Oh, the cuddles have come! Every time I get to cube with someone at a comp or something, it's like, this is fun, you know, it's such a community. Um, you're... Uh, Stop eating my brains! Uh, your comments, every time I get a positive comment about... Uh, a video I made, a way that it inspired you, and made your day better. That is such an inspir like it always wants more, like keeps me going. When whenever I like see how much our videos impact you, 
Um, so yeah, Just keep the positive positivity going. If you have, if you think of a negative comment to say on any video, don't say it. Keep it to yourself. Say it in your brain. Delete it, and then don't say anything. <laughs> or force yourself to write that positive thing because, yeah. That's, that's what's going to keep the community strong. That's what's going to avoid like fracture. Or Puff is an awesome penguin. Yeah, right? I like scubes, if you don't want to lie. I mean, unless... Sorry. Olo knows I don't like scubes, even though she does. I, uh, I instantly am going to lose all of my scubing uh, subscribers. But I might gain the square one is back. Hey. And, and my one. And I already saw the well done. Thank you. Oh, yes, the Yeet Ball Force Cubes. Thank you so much for your questions. Yeah. Uh, I have some really exciting videos nice. planned for you. Should I should I tell them a bit about the upcoming videos? I, I, oh, I don't want to give it away. You know I don't like to give it away. I'll give you a couple of hints about upcoming videos. I... Uh, oh, well, I mean, I guess not a surprise secret. The Netflix video is coming out really soon uh, on speed cubing. So I'm hoping um, to maybe make uh, something to do with that. A video maybe reacting to that or, or giving my thoughts. Um, I also teased in on Instagram. If you haven't, uh, if you don't know that I'm on Instagram, please um, check that out. Um, that's uh, at Tigman Official. What's so funny? Oh, stop it. Uh, and I teased that I'm close to releasing a video that will have a lot of a lot of cubers, like well-known cubers in it. So I cannot wait to release that. I hope. What? No, don't encourage him. He can read your comments. Stop saying coaching boy. And so, um, <laughs> oh, and also, um, I. Um, at, at the one year anniversary of the world's uh, championships, uh, um, I posted you know, uh, like a song from it, and then I asked if people would want to see stuff. You're giving lots to go. And a lot of people, I asked, should I make a vlog, even though it's been one year out? And a lot of people were like, yes, make make a vlog. So this, <laughs> it just feels weird making a video on a comp that I did one year ago. But yeah, I'm in the process of doing that. It's just weird making a video of an event like, like one year ago. But yeah, so those are some of the things that are coming up in August that I'm very, very excited about. Why are you encouraging him? Hashtag coating boy with the brain. People want me to yeet the yeet balls, but they'll break. Especially on this glass table. They are surprisingly strong though. This is how strong the yeet balls are. Watch. Oops. Okay, I thought they were stronger than that. But we can fix them. Anyway, look at what has happened. Look at what has happened. It's crazy. Hashtag coating boy with the brains. No. Look, someone wrote Ting Boy with the brains. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for 60,000 subscribers. Uh, we love you. We're so grateful for you. And here's to bigger and better things. Look after yourselves. Stay positive. Um, have a great day. How old is Coating Boy? We are going to end it now. I need, I need to stop Coating Boy. It's becoming too, it's becoming too crazy. Coating Boy! Uh, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Hashtag Coating Boy with the brain.